first 100 days, we're going to be doing a number of things, including limiting the powers of, of the government, of, of, of ministers. And so we're going to have a very, um, um, a, a, a very exciting um, 100 days, you know, and um, a, a very... And, and a, and a if you wondered why he was stuttering so much then, now you know. After 100 days in office, John Brisenio and the PUP have not delivered on any of their expressed promises to the people of Belize. No free education for everyone. No $5 minimum wage. No immediate increase of income tax threshold to 30000 per annum. No continued unemployment relief until COVID-19 crisis abates. No food pantry for as long as needed. No land for all Belizeans who do not own a piece. Not one of the 10,000 houses promised. Not one of the more than 50,000 total new jobs promised. Not one of the 20,000 jobs to be brought back in tourism. Not one of the 20,000 new jobs in the services and technology sector. Not one of the 30,000 new jobs in agriculture promised. Not one of the hundreds of high-paying jobs in the offshore sector. No support for micro, small and medium enterprise to create 5,000 jobs. Not a dollar of the 30 million fast track stimulus package for tourism promised. Not a dollar of the 50 million fast track stimulus package for the wider economy promised. Not one of the many new industries promised except for illegal cattle trade. No affordable financing for farmers. No incentives for employers to re-employ former employees. No elimination of environmental tax on inputs for products manufactured in Belize. No reduction of business tax to 1.5% on businesses engaged in export of goods and services. No land tax credit to farmers for land under cultivation or with livestock. No abolition of the contract tax. No countrywide rollout of the national health insurance. No upgrade of health facilities countrywide. No mobile clinic for the elderly. No increase in the number of physicians or doctors per 1,000 persons in population. No increase in the number of specialists per 1,000 persons in population. No increase in the number of nurses per 1,000 persons in the population. No economic opportunities for women other than wives, sisters, daughters, nieces and daughter-in-laws of PUP ministers and CEOs. No mechanisms to implement the United Nations Convention Against Corruption, UNCAC, or to limit the powers of ministers. And not one single Prime Minister's press conference to report or answer questions on the state of the nation. 100 days of the PUP. Zero wins for the people of Belize. What does PM Brasenio have to say in his defense? Um, 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 um.